Welcome back to the time of your life. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. Caregiving is rewarding, but also can be very challenging. Michelle Marseille is manager of the NFCSP Caregivers Program at the Department of Aging will share information about the many resources available to support caregivers. Welcome to the show, Michelle. Thank you, Ethel. According to the National Alliance for Caregiving and ARP in 2015, there were 34.2 million Americans providing unpaid care to adults 55 years of age and older during a 12-month period. Can you start our discussion by defining what a caregiver is? Yes, caregivers are family members who are trying to look out for their elderly loved one. They might give rides to medical appointments, help them with medication management and prescriptions, and also they might be doing those harder tasks like bathing and dressing um, and helping them to stay independent and safe in the community. That's what the family caregivers do. As the manager of the caregivers program at the Department of Aging, can you detail for our viewers what services you provide? Sure. The caregivers program offers education and outreach and empowerment for caregivers. And we do that through our presentations in the community. And we also have individualized consultations with families. And there's other support coming with the um, annual mini conference that's free to caregivers. Um, can you provide information about that conference? Yes, we hope to see everyone on Saturday, April 14th. We're at the Seven Oak Senior Center in Nottingham. The door is open at 845 and we conclude at 1230. And we'd be very happy to see everyone there. The speakers at the conference really empower caregivers to do more and do better. Um, can you share some information on some of the speakers that will be present? This year we are thrilled to have Jason Frank. He is an elder law attorney and he will be doing two sessions in fact. He has so much information to share. So if, if our audience is interested in learning more about the legal aspects of how to um, manage assets, what is probate? how to pay for long-term care, and medical decision-making. Those are the four topic areas that he'll be discussing this year at our conference. Sponsors add such an important dimension to all of our outreach events. Can you detail or acknowledge any of the sponsors that are supporting the Caregivers Conference? Yes, for the fourth year, we are very pleased to have AARP Maryland be our sponsor of our refreshments. This year, we have a new sponsor. Chase Brexton will be giving our giveaway gift at the end of the conference. That sounds great. Another way to stay current about caregiving is information um, is to su su subscribe to the Caregiver Connection, the Department of Aging's quarterly newsletter for caregiving for older adults. Um, can you talk about the content that's included in each of these newsletters and how they can go about it subscribing to it? Sure. This is our prime quarterly newsletter, and you're holding up our paper edition that can be found in the senior centers and local libraries. We also have an online version. Um, in our newsletter, we try and highlight topics of interest for caregivers, tips, events coming up. If you'd like to subscribe electronically, you can go to www.baltimorecountymd.gov slash subscribe slash caregiver. Thanks, Michelle, for sharing this valuable information for caregivers. You're welcome. My pleasure. We're going to take a short break. When we return, learn about the Department of Aging's Maryland Access Point known as MAP.